And that's why you're feeling uncomfortable in that particular way you're being dressed and look at right now. You have been questioning why you're not able to attract someone. You spoke to your friends about it and they said that you lack grace. You lack a certain amount of dignity. You're not, you are not sending the right message by your body language and your dress. You're 26 and you're looking at everybody else, getting engaged, getting married. You're so fed up of being a bridesmaid and never a bride. And you're now wondering whether you'll ever get to this. So your friends told you, you like grace, you are too much out there, and your dressing is not appropriate for your age. So here you are. I am Tess Marie, and I can help you with this. So welcome to my YouTube channel, where you will find the answers to life's true happiness and success. Subscribe to my channel so you can be notified when videos of this nature are released. Yes. In this short video, I will take you on the journey so that you can see yourself. See yourself as you are and decide if this is how you want to present yourself to the world. And maybe look at yourself from your point of view. You say you're looking to find someone you would like to get married to. You're a young lady, 25, 26 years old. And you're just not feeling it. Everybody wants you for a, a, a month or two, a couple of nights, nothing else. But you want, you desire more. So sometimes our body language is worse for our own. It's not for our best. We wear outfits. Maybe your, your outfit is too tight. Maybe they're showing up more than you should show at your age for now. Or if you're looking for this thing, be that thing. Would you go out with you? Ask yourself that question. Would you date you? Would you marry you? Would you want to say, here, this is my wife? Do you like how you look? There, of course, are a time when we do those things, but there's also a time when we need to change it. And maybe this is your time. And that's why you're feeling uncomfortable in that particular way you are being dressed and look at right now. So, what you want to attract, you have to be. You, know, you need to have more grace and more dignity. You need to feel it. You know that, but you do not know how to go about it. So this is number one. Change your wardrobe. Find yourself into some garments that enhance you, but do not choke you. Wear dresses or pants or whatever you desire to wear that is not, your body is not fighting to get out of it like every button is on this last thread to burst. The zipper is just, if you sneeze, it, everything crashes. It's time to go back and go looking at the dresses. Put it on and see a young, beautiful, serious, well-educated, has a fabulous job young woman who is determined to succeed. Now, watch your shoes. Make sure your shoes are fitting properly. Make them comfortable. If they pinch when you try them on, then they're not right for you. Take them out. Your feet is not a stretching machine. It is not meant to stretch plastic and leather to fit itself. You should be sliding your feet into a shoe and feel comfortable in it when you're wearing high heels. Do not walk like you are climbing a mountain. You do not have to gallop through life. And you do not have to show up with a loud, boisterous voice. You can walk with dignity. When you're walking with a high heel, both parts of your feet must touch the ground. You shouldn't be walking on your toes like you're going to fall off. Pull your shoulders back. Take a deep breath. Have a dress that caresses your body but does not stifle your body. Wear shoes that are comfortable, that allows you to walk with, in, with them. Now, look at your makeup. It does not have to be over. Do not cake it on. Put just sufficient to enhance your beautiful you. Watch your nails. Put your, make sure your nail polish is lovely. It's not chipped. And your nails are not 10 feet long, like you're going to claw someone's eyes off. It might be fun, but it's not practical. You would not like the opposite sex to be like you. So why are you dressing like that? So make sure you, are, you come with dignity and grace. A smile goes a long way. You do not have to fight with your face when you're speaking. 
Your gestures can be smooth and nice. And you can pay attention and listen with your senses rather than just your ear. Use all of them. This is my tip for you on attracting something and changing the way that you are. I am trusting that this video will help you. And there are more of these videos to come. So click up here and choose any one of those because I know for sure they will touch you where you need to be touched. Have a wonderful day.